Hey guys, H Maris here today doing a Lego Ninjago movie wave 2 set review, this time on 70629 Piranha Attack. This set comes with 217 pieces, is ages 7 through 14, and retails for $20. The set contains four minifigures, and on the front of the box you can just see the Piranha Attack itself, and on the back of the box you can see all the functions of the set. The main build of the set is the Piranha vehicle itself. The build is actually pretty intricate for a $20 set and it actually is pretty tall. Now this is a fairly simple thing though in terms of play features which really all it does is it can fire some flick fire missiles which can be a little bit annoying since they actually are in contact with these little spears on the end the whole time so it can be a little bit annoying to fire those off and they can kind of limit how far those go. The vehicle also has a lot of details from stickers because there are tons of stickers on this set. The number 16 is splattered all across this being on the top of the canopy, the flags on the side, there's these little tanks on the side which have the sort of danger pattern going. There's a symbol with some Ninjagan lettering which I do not know what it translates on this little fin on the back and there's some more danger stickering on the back as well. The Piranic Chase can fully open up and it can actually stand with it extended all the way back which is very good because this is a very top heavy design and when you're actually building the set it cannot stand up by itself until you put the feet on so it's nice to see that they were able to make it fully stable. On the inside we have a pretty spacious interior with little small details such as these little spikes as well as a console and some control sticks and you can fit one minifigure inside. The legs on the Piranha are fairly stable, but they have pretty much no articulation. There is small bits of ankle articulation you can get, and you can move them side to side. However, you cannot move the legs forward or backwards at all, and there is no knee articulation, which I think no knee articulation is fine since this is top heavy, and it would probably fall down a lot if there was, but I do wish you would have been able to move the legs forward to kind of simulate walking. The set also includes a pulled rickshaw for Ray, which is a fairly simple build, but it looks very good. You can fit one minifigure in the seat, and it can move around fairly simply. You just move it like this. There's also tons of small little details they were able to put in here, such as on this roof section, they got some stickers there, which makes it look a little bit better, as well as the stickers on the back and the lanterns on the side. And on the back of the rickshaw, it is fairly plain, but there is a little bit of covering up that they tried to do by putting this clear, rounded disc piece on the bottom. It's also worth noting that the back of this is adjustable, however, it will fall over even with a minifigure inside, so there's not really much you can do with it, but it is a little bit of added customability. The four minifigures included in this set are Shark Army Thug, Misako or Lady Iron Dragon, Kai, and Rei. Now, these are all fairly simple minifigures, but for the $20 price, this is a fairly good s selection. Misako is a minifigure where they tried to get tons of detail in, and they even created two new molds, but that face just doesn't work. I think they should have just tried either going with a yellow head and then printing the black around it, or just printing the yellow layer twice to actually get the face to come out, because it just looks kind of bad the way it is. However, the rest of the figures are fine. They all have good detailing, especially Misako, and it's a fairly good minifigure selection for the price. Overall, the Piranha Attack is a fairly solid set. For $20, you get four minifigures, which is very good. You get a fairly solid Piranha build as well as a solid rickshaw, and it really contributes to the what has already been a extremely great line of the Ninjago movie sets. The play features are a little bit lacking and the flick fire missiles can be a little bit annoying to use, especially since it's so cluttered in the back. There's not a lot of room for you to get your finger behind there to actually shoot them off. The rickshaw is a good build, but there's not much you can do with it. And the minifigure selection, again, it's good, but Misako is kind of disappointing. But as a set, it's pretty solid. I think it is slightly better than the Ninjago City Chase because I do like this Piranha vehicle a lot more than the builds that we got in the Ninjago City Chase. But yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Thank you guys for watching. Till next time, see you guys later.